Well, first off, quickly, Saturday Night Live 40th, the three and a half hour SNL 40th anniversary special was very funny. Rise by the. Uh, I've spent, seen Kanye West the late Wolf, okay, in turn the musical performances. Yeah, it was great to meet, see you know, Paul McCartney take on Maybe I'm Amazed. Uh, I'm glad that, and um, quite fascinated that Miley Cyrus covered 50 Ways to Leave Your Lover and Left with Mark. And even when I saw Kanye West do a medley, I was thinking, does he. Was he laying down in honor of, you know, Michael Brown and Eric Gardner? I couldn't have sensed that. And I must say it was pitch perfect to have Paul Simon end the special with still crazy after all these years. I, mean, I have to point out, this man performed that song on, on the second episode. <laughs> um, hmm. I would love to know why some certain cast members didn't appear, like, say, Tim Kazarinski. And I still wish we could have seen Louis Goldberg's audition. But I guess that that, prob that VHS tape probably got burned or lost or misplaced. Who knows? Anyway, um, <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, the big kind of shocking point is Bradley Cooper kissing Betty White. Oh, well, what a lucky pair. <laughs> Very freak out of practice now. Um, and then, um, anyway, I should quickly point out that, um, of course, now today is, well, President's Day or Washington's birthday. And I was fascinated to stumble upon this a few days ago. Let me point out that, of course, it is a U.S. federal holiday celebrated on the third Monday of February in honor of George Washington. First president of the United States. Colloquially, it is widely known as President's Day and is often an occasion to remember all the presidents, not just. Washington or Lincoln, whose birthday is also in February. The term President's Day was informally coined in a deliberate attempt to use the holiday to honor multiple presidents and is virtually always used that way today. With official names including President's Apostrophe Day, President Apostrophe S Day, and Washington Apostrophe S and Lincoln, and Lincoln Apostrophe S Birthday. The day is also a state holiday in most states. It officially celebrates depending on the state, Washington alone, Washington and Lincoln, or some other combination of U.S. presidents. Some states celebrate Washington and the third president, Thomas Jefferson, but not Lincoln. Both Lincoln and Washington birthdays are in February, and in historical rankings of presidents of the United States, Lincoln and Washington are frequently, but not always, the top two presidents. Um, although Lincoln's birthday on the 12th was never a federal holiday, nearly half of the state governments have officially renamed their Washington's birthday observance as presidents apostrophe day, Washington and Lincoln day, or other such designations. However, president apostrophe, president's apostrophe day is not always an uh, all-inclusive term and might refer to only a selection of presidents. In the following states, Washington's birthday is an official state holiday and known as, well, using president, president apostrophe day is in Hawaii, New Mexico, North Dakota, Oklahoma, Puerto Rico, South Dakota, Texas, Vermont, and Washington. President apostrophe S day is in Alaska, Idaho, Maryland, Nebraska, New Hampshire, Tennessee, West Virginia, and Wyoming. President's day, and yes, that's literally no apostrophe, is Michigan, Minnesota, Nevada, New Jersey, and Oregon. Washington's birthday or president's apostrophe S day is in Maine. And Lincoln slash Washington slash President apostrophe, yes, President's apostrophe day, is in Arizona. Washington's birthday is celebrated only in Massachusetts. George Washington Day is in Virginia. Washington and Lincoln, well, they're celebrated together in Utah as Washington and Lincoln Day. Washington underscore, I'm sorry, Washington dash or hyphen Lincoln Day is in Colorado and Ohio, but it's Lincoln apostrophe S and Washington apostrophe S birthday in Montana. George Washington slash Thomas Jefferson's birthday is in Alabama, while George Washington apostrophe, yeah, George Washington's birthday and Daisy Gatson Bates Day is in Arkansas. Uh, Daisy Gatson Bates, by the way, I'll just point out she's an American civil rights actress, publish, publisher, journalist, and lecturer who played a leading role in the Little Rock integration crisis of 1957. 
and she um, well, she died November 4th, 1999, at the age of 84 in Little Rock. She's also, you know, newspaper owner and community organizer. She has her own Wikipedia page, but I don't. Um, yeah, you can look, learn more about her, maybe. Hmm. And speaking of her, what, what her and her accomplishments, happy for like history month. Um, now, several states honor presidential official date holidays that do not fall on the third Monday of February. In Massachusetts, the state officially celebrates Washington's birthday on the same day as a federal holiday. State law also directs the governor to issue an annual President's Day proclamation, that's no apostrophe, on May 29th, like JFK's birthday, honoring the presidents within, with Massachusetts roots, Kennedy, John Adams, John Quincy Adams, and Calvin Coolidge. In California, Connecticut, Missouri, and Illinois, while Washington's birthday is a federal holiday, Abe Lincoln's birthday is still a state holiday, falling on February 12th, regardless of the day of the week. In New Mexico, President's Day, that's President's apostrophe, at least as a state government paid holiday, is observed on the Friday following Thanksgiving. In Georgia, President's apostrophe day, is President's apostrophe, at least as a state government paid holiday, is observed on Christmas Eve, observed on the prior Thursday if Christmas falls on Saturday, observed on the prior Friday if Christmas falls on a Sunday. If December 24th is a Wednesday, then this holiday is observed on Friday, December 26th. Well, this federal holiday honoring Washington was originally implemented at, by an act of Congress in 1879 for government officials in Washington and expanded in 1885 to include all federal offices as the first federal holiday in honor an American, to honor an American president. The holiday was celebrated on Washington's actual birthday, which is February 22nd. On January 1st, 1971, the federal holiday was shifted to the third Monday in February by the Uniform Monday Holiday Act. This date places it between February 15th and 21st, which makes the name Washington apostrophe S birthday in some sense a misnomer, since it never occurs on Washington's actual birthday, which is either February 11th, according to the old style calendar, or February 22nd, the new style. The first attempt at holiday, I'm sorry, a present day, occurred in 1951, in that but without the parenthesis, well actually, was it then President Apostrophe S. Day National Committee was formed by Harold Stonebridge Fisher of Compton, California, who became National Executive Director for the next two decades. The purpose was not to honor any particular president, but to honor the office of the presidency. It was first thought that March 4th, the original Inauguration Day, should be deemed President's Day, no apostrophe. However, the bill recognized the March 4th date was stalled in the Senate Judiciary Committee, which had authority over federal holidays. That committee felt that because of its proximity to Lincoln's and Washington's birthdays, three holidays so close together would be unduly burdensome. Yeah, burdensome. During this time, however, the governors of majority of the individual states issued proclamations declaring March 4th to be President's apostrophe day in their retrospective jurisdictions. An early draft of the Uniform Monday Holiday Act would have renamed the holiday to President's Apostrophe Day to honor the birthdays of both Washington and Lincoln, which would explain why the chosen date falls between the two, but this proposed failed in committee, and the bill was voted on and signed into law June 28, 1968, keeping the name as Washington's birthday. By the mid-1980s, with a push from advertisers, the term President's Day, with the, yeah, President's Apostrophe Day, began its public appearance. In Washington's adopted hometown of Alexandria, Virginia, celebrations are held throughout the month of February. Um, today, the holiday has become well known being a day in which many stores, especially car dealers, hold sales until the late 1980s. Corporate businesses generally close on this day. Some of the president corporate practices on Memorial Day or Christmas with the night 1980s advertising push to rename the holiday. More and more businesses are staying open on the holiday each year and, at, and as on Veterans Day and Columbus Day, most delivery services outside of the U.S. Postal Service now offer regular service on the day as well. Some public transport transit systems have also gone to regular schedules on the day. Many colleges and universities hold regular classes and operate on President's Day. Various theories exist for this. One accepted reason being to pick up for the ground growing trend of corporations to close in observance of the birthday of Martin Luther King Jr. Conversely, many schools and businesses formed formally open on this day began closing after the observance of Dr. King's birthday holiday being prevalent. This was done in order not to diminish Washington's birthday in comparison to King's. However, when reviewed, when reviewing the Uniform Monday Holiday Bill debate of 1968 in the Congressional Record, one notes the supporters of the bill were intent on moving federal holidays to Mondays to promote business. 
Uh, the, the holiday is also attributed to the general who created the first military badge of merit for the common scholar, I'm sorry, soldier, revived on Washington's 200th birthday in 1932. The Purple Heart Medal, which bears Washington's image, is awarded to soldiers who are injured in battle. As with Memorial Day and Veterans Day, Washington's birthday offers another opportunity to honor the country's veterans. In 2007, the country celebrated both Washington's 275th birthday and the 75th anniversary of the rebirth of the Purple Heart Medal. Since 1862, there has been a tradition in the United States Senate that George Washington's farewell address be read on his birthday. Citizens had asked that this be done in light of the approaching Civil War. The annual tradition continues with the reading of the address on or near his birthday. Um, now, community celebrations often display a lengthy heritage. Washington's hometown of historic Alexandria, Virginia, hosts a month-long tribute, including the longest-running George Washington Birthday Parade, while the community of Eustis, Florida, continues its annual George Fest celebration, begun in 1902. In Denver, Colorado, there is a society dedicated to observing the day at the Washington Birthday at the, at the George Washington Birthplace National Monument in Westmoreland County, Virginia, and at Mount Vernon, visitors are treated to birthday celebrations throughout the federal holiday weekend and through February 22nd. Um, the federal holiday, Washington's birthday, honors the accomplishments of the man known as the father of his country, celebrated for his leadership and the founding of the nation. He was the Electoral College's unanimous choice to become the first president. He was seen, at, he was seen as a unifying force for the new republic and set an example for future holders of the office. Consequently, some schools which used to be closed for a single day for both Lincoln and Washington's birthday, and I can remember that, sort of, now often closed for the entire week, began beginning with the Monday holiday as a midwinter recess. For example, the New York City School District began doing so in the 1990s. Um, because President's Apostrophe Day is not the official name of the federal holiday, there is a variation in how it is rendered, both in the name of the official state holidays and colloquially. Both President's Day and President's Apostrophe Day are common today, and both are considered correct by dictionaries and usage manuals. President's Apostrophe Day was once the predominant style, and it is still favored by leading authorities, notably the Chicago Manual Style, the American Heritage Dictionary, Dictionary of the English Language, Webster's Third International Dictionary, and Garner's Modern American Usage. In recent years, as the use of attributive nouns you know, nouns acting as modifiers have become more widespread, the popularity of President's Day has increased. Yeah, out the apostrophe. This style is favored by the Associated Press style book, followed by most newspapers and some magazines, and the Writer's Digest Grammar Dress Death Reference. President's Apostrophe Day, yeah, I'm sorry, President Apostrophe S Day is a misspelling when used with the intention of celebrating more than one individual. See also the, well, however, as in an alternate rendering of Washington's birthday, or for the purpose of commemorating of the presidency as an institution, it is a proper use of possessive. Indeed, this latter spelling was considered for the official federal designation by U.S. Representative Robert McClory of Illinois, who was tasked with getting the 1968 Uniform Monday Holiday Act through the House Judiciary Committee. Though President Apoth yeah, President Apostrophe S. Day is sometimes seen in print, even on government websites, this style is not endorsed by any major dictionary or usage authority, but it is the legal spelling in eight states. So, um, oh, I should also probably point out that one, well, yeah, as I, it's, right now it's actually 3.28 a.m. on the Pacific Northwest. It's, yeah, pr should probably hit the hay by now. It's kind of why I'm doing this at night. I, yeah, I literally have only two sources of light, the laptop and the, this big screen TV on the top shelf. Okay, yeah, well, I don't know what else to say, other than I got, I probably won't, I don't know when you'll hear from me, it could be another, it could be a week, it could be two weeks, I don't know. <laughs> to do for what and what I could do today in honor of Washington. There should be a first lady's day. Yeah. But which one yeah, but which one do you honor? The does it start with Martha Washington and Hmm. I don't know. Just a thought. So many things. 